everyone. This is Lolly, and we are continuing our work on this December Daily. We've got a lot of pages put together here, and I'm just going to do a quick count here. Okay, I think I've got 21 days. So, you think so. 22, 23, 24, I've got 25, I've got all of these would make 25 days if I counted right. I've decided I'm going to use this for my shaker, so I'm going to set that aside, which means I have these three that I can make into pages. Okay, let's cut this into five and a quarter, or actually I think, I wonder, that would make a very small pocket, but... Let's go ahead and pocket this one, shall we? I think this I'm going to have to do around four because, oops, four inches because I want to capture most of this image there on the other side. So that's a nice big pocket. Another thing you can do, and we may do with this one, if you don't like a page being this short, is that you can add an extension here, and that way um, I'm saving all of my design for that pocket, but I'm adding an extension here so it sticks out a little farther. That's always an option there. This is so beautiful. Now, we're going to start embellishing, and I don't want you to stress about that because we're going to use what we have on hand. I'm going to do these corners. You're going to use what you have on hand. Let's see, actually. And um, so everyone's stash is going to look different. So just a thought. Okay, and I'm going to cut this one into five and a quarter. And I think this one I'm going to do a tab across the top. Um, right here. And I'm going to make that a large tab. And then, another thing I think I'm going to do is I might round this corner right there with that. That's really cute. Love it. Or was I, I was just at Tuesday morning the other day and I saw replacement blades for these. So I thought that was interesting. It's the first time I've seen replacements. So I picked up one just to make sure. Okay, now I'm going to count these one more time. I'll pause the video and count. Okay, so if I use this one, then that will give me the 25th day. Now, again, I'm, these are not in any particular order. So um, I usually get these all kind of embellished and I will figure it out at that point. But I might start punching holes now because that way I'm going to know for sure um, what is going to interfere with any embellishment that I may come up with. Okay, so everything is six inches tall, except for some of the ones that have tabs in the top. So I have my two-hole punch set at six. The nice thing about using the two-hole punch is that it does cut through this cardboard. I make sure it's back flat against both the holes and against this. And I have the beginning right there. Now this one I did glue the um, the pocket down, but I haven't done that to the rest of them. Okay. Now see this one, um, this is six inches. This is not. So one thing I can do is turn it over and put the bottom against this, and that way the holes are aligned up with the rest of the cards. Same thing. No, this is still okay here. Okay, this one's going to have to be decorated before I even glue the pockets on, so I guess I would have to stop for that standpoint. Okay, let's start playing around with these. I just won't put them in the binder. So this, I said, would be probably day one, but until I am absolutely sure what order I'm going to put them in, I don't want to put the, uh, the numbering system on there. So just a thought there. One of the things that really strikes me about this is these gold stars here. So I'm wondering if I could use some of my gold scraps to give that a little oomph. Well, I found some gold stickers. I don't know if any of those would work with it. Okay, 
So I was wondering, let's see if this is going to work. And I'm not sure if this is big enough, so we will see if I can punch a hole right out of the center of the star. I don't think it's large enough. Well, I lost my star. Oh, there it is. It's in there. Yeah, I think I need a bigger star because this just collapsed on me. I mean, it works, but as you can see, it's really delicate. I kind of like that. One thing that would probably be good would be to um, put this on double-sided tape, and then I'd be able to really work with it. But I like how small this is. Ooh, I do like that. It gives it a little brightness there, and I might even try to do something like that on the back. Very cute. Now let me try a bigger star. I think I might replace this with a bigger one. I like that better. And that completely covers up my first effort there. Oh, I love it. And I'm thinking, since I have this out, why don't I do the other side? And now we have all these little gold um, circles that we can use as well. just shows you what a simple um, what a simple embellishment does to brighten up the whole thing so I think what I'll do is add some of these in here for sparkle very cute making sure it's pretty dry now before I move on um, I do like adding something here I glued this on so I didn't really have a chance to make the pocket any wider than what it is, so we'll go with that. Um, but I feel like it just needs something. So I'm going to look at my stash here. Those are too big. However, even just this little tiny bow across the top, I think will add something to it. Excuse me. I just make two loops and then, oops, and then tie those loops together. And it's okay if this sticks out because, again, I want to have um, interest showing out on the sides of all the pages. Keep in mind as you're embellishing how much busyness you want and how thick you want your pages to get. Because if you are going to write on these pages, that would definitely be a factor to consider. I'm going to let that dry and set that aside right there. However, I think I need to start getting my words out. Okay, I have some here. I think I do want something green on this side. But I liked this so much that I'm going to punch another. There you go. Oops. I'm going to wait for that to dry. And I should also get these cut up so that I have them ready when I want to use them. But I was wondering if any of these gold words would be okay here. Wonderful life would be cute. I've had this in my stash forever, so I do not remember where I got this from. I just love that it is the gold. Beautiful. Okay. Now all of these are ready. I'm going to put these right here so they're on my mind. And I think I should be able to gently turn this over and put this where I want it. I want it right across the top. Now we can turn that over. Okay. Sorry, I was getting all confused there. Um, I just love this. 
I may wait and see if I want anything else on here, but I do need room for the actual photos, etc., that will be going on here. However, I know I do want to do something across here. I'm going to dig into my strips and find something that really floats my boat, like that one. However, I don't think I'm going to be doing any distressing. I want to be consistent throughout this, so I don't think I'm going to do any distressing. But I want to look at my trim. Okay, so when I look at this, it is so um, soft against this white background. I want something to give it interest and bring it up a little bit or out from the design. And even a little bit of lace, I think, might be helpful to do that. So at least that's my theory. So I was wondering about either doing it this way or putting the lace on over it. And I think I actually like the paper over the lace. So let me cut a piece off. Okay. And see where I want that to go. I realize that this is white on white and you probably can't see much either. Well, I know one way to do this is to glue this to my cardstock and that way I know exactly where to put it. Perfect. That just really helps make me happy. I like that a lot more. It's not a pocket. It's just going to be a decorative stripe here, an embellishment. I'm putting it right up against the edge there. Now, if you got this um, paper stack from me, you also received one of these, which is these really beautiful, sparkly, pearly things here. And we'll be using those in our embellishments as well. So I was thinking, wasn't sure if that would, what I want to do is just get, oops, right there on the tab, right there. I just think that'd be very cute. Okay. Flip that over. And again, I don't know that these are going to go together. I'm not really sure at this point, but I'm just looking things over. And on this side, I think I want to do this. So this is um, up the bottom strip from those little cut apart cards, five and a quarter. Okay, now if I want this to be a pocket, which would be a pretty good idea, I think I'll add some white to it and bring that up maybe like there. And one of the things I do is, is instead of gluing it on like this and making it into a pocket, what this does, with this on top of this, when I go to put a card or any kind of like a journey card or a photo, when I try to do that, it will get stuck on that layer right there. So I prefer to take this edging and put it under the pocket like that. And if you're not thrilled with the look of having the um, this card on front, we can always put an edging right there. So again, the reason I do that is so that as I'm putting things into the pocket, there is nothing for it to catch onto, and I just prefer it that way. I have the thinnest little strip of colored cardstock that I'm going to put across here. And to me, it'll be just enough to kind of break up that the look of that line there. This is why we don't get rid of our don't get rid of our scraps when we're doing this project. The other reason, the other thing that this helps with is that this color of white and this color of white don't match 100%. And so by putting that blue there, it breaks it up to the eye and it looks like it's all the same white. So now when we do this, I will have to repunch that one hole there. But I'm going to go ahead and glue this. The question is, is it too tall for me? I think I'll be okay. But I do see that I didn't get a really good 
trim there. Okay, so now I'm going to glue the sides and bottom of this and get it in place here. Okay, another thing I think I want to do is I want to put a strip of this across there just for show, <laughs> just because it's pretty. And I have an edger here I want to use. There's our pile. I might want to save those little dots. Okay, so, oops, wrong way, like this. You see what a difference that makes there? I think it really makes it come alive. And even though I've already punched my holes, I've got to do it again. There we go. That just really made that pretty. I like this little splash of red right there too. So cute. Thinking. Do I want that all the way over there like that? I do. I think that needs a little staple right there with the tiny attacher. Wait. Thought, thought, thought. Just a thought. I'm thinking that it needs to bring a little bit of that red in there. So I'll put that. Whoops. Right there. Oh, I love that the way that brought that red over into that part. Isn't that pretty? Now I don't know if I want to do the tiny attacher, but live and learn. <laughs> We're going to go for it. That's the beauty of doing it on video is you can't belabor something too long. You've got to keep moving. I love it. I'm really happy with the colors on this page. Okay, now I'm looking at this one and thinking it needs something there. And I love, there's a little bit of green in there. So I think that this green would just help bring some interest into that. But... I think just do it at an angle right there or even at the top. I'll do it at the bottom. Pretty cute. This could use some snowflakes or something, but I do have these which are really pretty. There we go. Very cute and sparkly. It says Merry Christmas there, so I'm thinking Merry and Bright would be a better sentiment. Okay, let's see if we want anything else with that. I do have, how about a belly band? Let's do a belly band and put that right in the middle of it. Cool. So we need this to be five and a quarter, right? Very adorable. The other thing to remember is if you have any rhinestones or something, you could put those on there as well. I have these, which are stickers in my shop now. They are really fun and easy to use. They're, um, they're an outline of gold with an inside of silver sparkle. And they're kind of hard to see, but you can take this and peel it back. And now see how you can see all the stickers there? This here you can save and use for something else. You could just pin it back if you want while you're pulling some of these off. If you have a pokey tool or something you can use. See, I have all these little sparkles here. I could put them right there on the little heart, a little star, excuse me. I love these little stickers and I'm so glad I was able to get some in my shop just today. Now I'm gonna look for uh, smaller ones. These are all different sizes and put these like right there. 
but they really add um, dimension. And I don't have to put them on all the stars, but I do want to get enough of them that it's really noticeable. Cute. I love it. Just a little bit of bling on that. They look like rhinestones, and they're just little thin stickers, which is what's so impressive about them. Now, I think I'm going to add this there. And I see I'm going to have to round the corner up above again. So let's put this back on the rounder. Now, I think this also needs one of these. This is a nice big one. I got these from Hobby Lobby, but uh, poinsettia stickers are really easy to find this time of the year. The other thing I have, too, I have a hard time just leaving a strip there without putting something extra against it. I have this. This is something I got from a thrift store. I don't even know what to call it. I see that it's also stretchy, so I don't want to pull it tight as I'm putting it on there. You see what a difference that made? Look how beautiful that is, and it's simple. So we don't always have to go overboard making things really complicated. Moving along. And this would be a really good one to have side by side with this. You see how those two work together really well? I pulled the color of this into that. Very cute. I do have these, which I picked up from, um, this is a dollar. It looks like it was a dollar spot from Target at one point. And it's got the nice deep red, red there, but I don't think I want this on top. So what I like to do, too, is to go to the store after Christmas when all the Christmas cards, Christmas wrapping paper are on clearance. And I like to pick up things like this. Now, I can put this in the corner here, and then this can be a tuck spot for a photo. So I'm going to put my hand right here because I want to put glue from here to here. And my fingers are just going to remind me of where to go. Or where not to go. Oops, and I did the exact opposite. <laughs> And we've got a little tuck spot right there. Good doke. Pretty, pretty. And let's, I think that'd be great for a journaling card right then, right there. Okay, let's put this together. These two pages look good to me. And I may, you know, do something here that might be where the date goes. But we have this back here. So here's what I'm going to do. I think at this point I need to figure out what order to put these days in because it does matter as to how I'm going to embellish. So, oh boy, I, this is hard to make myself do this. So far it's okay. I would like to have something more blue here if possible. Or even this would be okay. Just something not overtly red. Okay. So let's work on this one now and get that to be the next card next day. So we're going to put this in. I want a border across here. I already know I do. Um, I could do this. And that really adds a lot of color to that, which is helpful. Or I could do green. Because I do have some green in the flowers here. So let's see what that looks like. I think the green would help. It would help pull in some of that there. Okay, so let's do that. And again, I'm putting this part in the back so I don't have a catch when I insert things in the pocket. I think I also want to add 
a little strip of this gold washi. I'm putting it just under the juncture. Perfect. Okay, so now I can glue that down. Okay, now this one needs to go in here. Holes will be on the left. Perfect. And I think I need one of my stars for right there. And I don't have to match them. I don't have to move one and put one up there as well. That is just fine. I'm still going to put the dates on these two, the days. Now we've got this one, and if this backs to this, I can add red, pink, or whatever I want to this one. So I might add a pocket. Okay. I don't want to always have my pockets going exactly the same way, so this time I am going to cut this one at an angle, and I'm going to go corner to corner, and then I can save the other side for a pocket as well. But, of course, I want something extra on there. And the question is what? Let me look and see if this lace would work for me. It's harder on an angle, though. But I like it, so I think I'm going to do it. Now, before I put that on there, the other thing is... You'll notice that when I do bands or pockets, I like to have more than one edging. I like to have another one with it. So let's see if um, the skinny washi will work. It's got a tear in it. Okay, perfect. Now I have to just glue the two sides down. And I could have carried the lace farther up. I shouldn't have cut it where I did. Now you see how that works really well with these two pages together. That's why I need to figure out what days are going to go where so I can coordinate them. Very pretty. Okay, now one more thing. I don't know if I should do that because it's too big. See if I want that there, and maybe I do. I'm going to cut the hole in the corner of the heart because I don't think I'll have room to center it. There we go. Perfect. And I'm also thinking a couple of those right there. And we have that day completed as well. Turn that over. Now we've got this set to go together. Now we need to decorate the back of this one and figure out what day goes next. Okay. I think. Okay, I don't want this next because it's the very next tab. I want that further back into the series. I just had a gray, so I think I might go with this one. I haven't done that yet. Okay, so we've got these two to work with. I'm looking at the time. Oh boy, it's getting so late. Um, okay, let's save this for next time. And thank you so much for watching. I just get so wrapped up in this that it's easy to lose track of time. And I know we could just, just do a live and just keep crafting all night. We do have lives. Uh, so let's pick up where we left off next time.